The Minnesota Wild have hired a new general manager in Paul Fenton, former assistant general manager for the Nashville Predators. We're going to discuss this move coming up next. Welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. We review and discuss all 31 NHL teams. So if you're a huge hockey fan, consider subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So as I mentioned off the top, the Minnesota Wild have made a decision and hired former Nashville Predators assistant GM Paul Fenton to be their new general manager. Now, of course, this comes as no surprise to me. I was well aware that Paul Fenton was more than likely going to be the front runner uh, before it was even publicly uh, discussed. Uh, who was being interviewed and what candidates were being considered. I fully suspected Fenton would have the inside track here. Obviously, he has a connection to Wild owner Craig Leopold. Obviously, in case you don't know, uh, the Wild owner used to be the Nashville Predators owner, and Paul Fenton worked for that organization for a long, long time. Uh, so obviously, those two go way back. They have a connection from before. Also comes as no surprise as Paul Fenton was one of the most experienced and well-respected assistant general managers in the NHL. If you take a look around the league and all the potential assistant GMs that could be the next candidates to move into uh, NHL general manager position, uh, he's a name that's been coming up for the last couple of years, kind of looking for the right opportunity. Obviously, he was quite comfortable in Nashville. He was there for a long, long time working with the general manager, David Poyle, and he's a very well-respected hockey man. He's gotten a lot of deals done for the Predators over the years. I know he's been instrumental in working with other assistant GMs to make some of their big trades go down in the last number of years as well. So Paul Fenton is a very well-respected hockey man around the league. Regardless of the relationship uh, with the owner, Craig Leopold, I think Paul Fenton has more than deserved himself an opportunity here to be an NHL general manager. He's been in a lot of time uh, in various different management roles in the NHL in the past 20 plus years, and he's certainly like, well-deserved an opportunity here. So it will be interesting to see um, how he decides to shape this wild team. It's been widely reported as well that he was given a five-year contract from Leopold, so he's certainly gonna have lots of time to kind of mold and shape this team into how he thinks it needs to be uh, made into to be more of a competitive winner and produce a, hopefully bring a Stanley Cup to the state of hockey, which is the long goal of this franchise. Uh, we'll also, will be interesting to see how he works with head coach Bruce Boudreau. Uh, Boudreau obviously appeared to be in no trouble back when uh, Chuck Fletcher was relieved of his duties uh, back at, towards the end of the regular season. Uh, Leopold made it known that Bruce Boudreau was still uh, you know, considered to be a great coach for the organization and wasn't going anywhere. And it even sounded like Boudreau was even remotely involved with kind of helping him decide uh, who might be the next GM. He, he did say he wasn't going to be involved in interviews, but it did seem like he was uh, soliciting a lot of advice. He did make it sound like Boudreau was kind of consulting a little bit on the situation as well. So obviously it's generally not the way it works. It usually is the GM finding the coach. The coach usually doesn't have any say in the GM search, but obviously Bruce Boudreau has been around the hockey world a long time. He's a very well also respected hockey guy. So obviously Leopold respected his opinion and you know he was kept in the loop in some of the decisions going on early on, but I really don't think Boudreau had much of any of say in the actual hire here. But uh, at the end of the day, Leopold found his man in Paul Fenton and he'll be taking over effective immediately. So it should be an interesting summer for the Minnesota Wild. Be curious to see how Fenton decides to shape this team and what moves he might make to, to hopefully turn this team around. This team has been fairly successful making the playoffs on many occasions, um, but they haven't really had a whole lot of playoff success. And in order to take that next step, uh, they need to you know make it beyond the second round of the playoffs. And to do that, I think they're definitely gonna need uh, some things shaken up on the team uh, to hopefully get some different players in there. So we'll be curious to see what he does this offseason. Leave some comments down below to let me know what you think of Paul Fenton being the new general manager of the Minnesota Wild. What kind of moves do you think he'll make this offseason? And do you think he'll make a great general manager? If you're new to the channel, I hope you consider subscribing. We cover all 31 NHL teams, and there's plenty of content here for all fan bases to enjoy. So if you're new, please consider subscribing. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up as well. I'd greatly appreciate it if you did. As always, thank you very much for watching, everybody. We'll catch you next time.